Shalom. I want to give a praise and glory to you. Shem Ha Shai Ba Shem Rakha Kadash. And double honors to the hours and apostles of great mills on the Thomas truth. And peace, blessing, and citations to the hopeful elect. And, um, yeah, man, I got this article here. And as the Lord said, man, <laughs> prophesy. And not only that, but female sheep, man. <clears throat> and it says, um, it says, Furious Putin says, West pushing him to the point of no return and nuclear world war three. So like it says, the West or the daughter of Babylon is pushing um the the Medes or the spiritual Medes into a point of no return man. Which we know we know Ezekiel 38 talks about that man. Well praises to you, how Hashem, how share. And let's continue, it says, Russia then, President Vladimir Putin has accused the West of pushing him to the point of no return and has issued new threats on nuclear World War Three. He accused NATO leaders of extreme rec recklessness. And yeah, man, <laughs> that, that MOTB is coming out soon, man, being the RFID micro CHIP, and it got its sibling, the brain CHIP. <laughs> and it says, Vladimir Putin has issued a fresh warning to the West about him launching World War III. <clears throat> and it says the Russian president said he is being pushed to the point of no return over starting a nuclear war. It comes as he accused NATO leaders of extreme recklessness in attempting to block him from ending Ukraine. He further claimed that any more actions taken by the West could lead to tragedy and it's, it's gonna get to that, man. <laughs> it's, it's gonna get to that. And you know what? Before I get that, let me get this. Jeremiah. Jeremiah 51 and 11. It says, make bright the arrows. And those arrows talking about them intercontinental ballistic missiles. And the Lord gonna set them on fire, man. I wanna say the Lord gonna set them on fire. I mean, the Lord is going to cause some ICBMs to fly, man. He's going to cause that fire to burn from behind and cause it to fly to another part of the world. Or should I say, to America or the land of the North <clears throat> or North America. And it's going to decimate it, man. So like it says, Make by the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Hashem, raise up the spirit of the king of the Medes. For his device is against Babylon to destroy it, because it is the vengeance of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Hawashai, the vengeance of his temple. <clears throat> so yeah, man, the, the purpose of the Lord literally having the, the the Russians basically backed up into a corner is so that they can go to that point of no return, <laughs> which is basically this Isaiah 13 <clears throat> and 17. And like it says, behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Meaning, the Lord is going to literally poke these Russians to the point where <laughs> they, they, they want war. And it's going to be like, you're taking it out of, out of our hands. We're going to have to let these missiles off now. And so they're soon going to do that, man. Hence, like it says, behold, he will stir up the Medes. <clears throat> And even then, <laughs> it reminds me of the saying, um, why are you stirring things up? <clears throat> and that's basically going into, um, what's it called? Um, oh, what's it called, man? You know, um, oh, yeah, instigating. Yeah, when someone's instigating, trying, trying to have something happen <laughs> for their entertainment. <clears throat> um, and even then, the Lord said he was going to do that, man. The Lord's going to instigate, man, <laughs> and, and get these Russians riled up so that when it comes to it, like it says, build us out the means against them, which should not regard silver and so gold, should not delight in it. Going into those briberies, man. Try, trying to make peace treaties with them. They, they ain't going to care at that point. And it says, their bows all shall dash the young men to pieces. 
and they should have no pity on the fruit of the womb that I shall not spare children. And uh, <clears throat> the pity of the womb <coughs> being pregnant women. And you'd think, oh, that's something evil. <clears throat> but the Lord said he's going to stir them up, man. <laughs> bring, bring them back to the angry nation that once was. And it says, and like it says, that I should not spare children. So basically pregnant women and children. And going by today's standards, like, if someone was to say, we're going to send nuclear missiles upon um, pregnant women and children, that would be considered an, an evil act. <clears throat> and and that's how, and literally, that's how the law is going to um, get these Russians to actually fulfill that prophecy in the sense of um, Russia basically being Poltman. <clears throat> And even then, let's go to Ezekiel 38. And when it says in the word of the Hawa, but Shema Hashem came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach, and two ball and prophesy against him. And yes, Meshach and two ball are descendants of Japheth. But you need to keep in mind, man, <clears throat> Ezekiel would let us know, man. Like when 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 most people read this, they they basically get taken by that snare. <clears throat> this isn't talking about um um Japheth or the descendants of Japheth, and the reason why is because <laughs> like the Lord may mention in um, Jeremiah fifty one and eleven, the Lord's going to raise up the spirit of the king of the Medes, which we know the Medes come from the line of um Japheth man, <laughs> and even then. Going into that spirit, it's that same spirit that the Lord put on the ancient means to take down um, ancient Babylon, man, to basically overthrow them. And the Lord's going to put that same spirit upon the, what's it called, the modern day means being the Russians, man. And only that, like it also says, like it says, um, <clears throat> set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog. So it's, a, it's essentially talking about the people that are dwelling there in that land. And Jaffa isn't dwelling in that land, but the um, Russian Edomites are, man. And just like it says here, and said, Thus saith the Lord, Yehel Basham Hosha, Behold, I'm against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubor. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. And they got to think if it says, The Lord's going to stir up the meads. And the Lord's going to put hooks back into the jaws. And, and, and literally bring them forth with all their army and horsemen and chariots. You gotta, you gotta imagine it, man. Like those, the, the original descendants of Japheth being those Samoans, those, um, <clears throat> yeah, those Maori from um, New Zealand, and even over there, oh, oh yeah, Polynesians as well. Like they're, they're, they're the descendants of Japheth, man. And you need to understand, literally, <laughs> those. Japhetic people don't have the army that Russia has. And even then, like, like I made mention, it's talking about those who are dwelling in the land of Magog and Gog, which is the Russians. Which, if you want to um, go by history, in a point in time where the Russians were ruthless, all I gotta say is the Soviet Union or the USSR. <clears throat> and back then, they were ready to use those missiles. And the Lord said it was going to stir them up, man. To to literally cause them to basically go back to that ruthless, um, that ruthless nation. Which at that point, which at that point they're not gonna care for pregnant women and children, man. They ain't gonna care, they're just gonna send those missiles, man. And like it says, and I'll bring thee back. It's like, I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. And I'll bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horses. Horses and horsemen, so lucky. All of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company. The book of this and shows all of them handed in swords. I'm going into that word company, which basically goes into allies or friendship. And if you think about it, Russia has these these different allies, and even then, it goes into make mention of these allies, like Persia being Iran, Ethiopia and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. 
And it says Goldman and all his bands, the house of Togum of the North Quarters, going to Turkey. And you gotta think those 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 type of nations are already joined with um Russia man. They they ain't joined with um with the Maori people or the what's it called um the Polynesian people or the, the Tongans. Like literally the Tongans and the Maori and the Polynesian, they they're literally joined with Esau Edom. They they they're friends with America. Why? Because um their lands were taken over by the British man. <clears throat> and even then, like Persia, Ethiopia and Libya, today you can see that they're literally friends or allies with Russia, man. And even then Jaffa don't have nuclear capability like the Russians do, man. And even, <laughs> the, like, literally, Russia's nuclear arsenal is on a whole different level, man. It's evidently talking about them. It says the Russian president said he is being pushed to the point of no return over starting a nuclear war. It comes as he accused NATO leaders of extreme recklessness and attempting to block him from ending Ukraine. He further claimed that any more actions taken by the West could lead to tragedy. Putin also warned that the world will no longer be the same in techno techno technological competition. He stated, we have come unacceptably close to the point of no return. And what did the law say, man? <laughs> He's going to turn them back and, and, and stir them up, man. <clears throat> and even then, you can go to Ezekiel 38 and 10. Like it says, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh Bashim Hawashai, it shall also come to pass that at that same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. For example, destroying America or destroying pregnant women and children. Or you, or, or you could even say they're going to be the um what's it called? Um oh, I forgot what it's called, man. Oh, yeah, collateral, collateral damage. Yeah, they're gonna be collateral damage, man. <clears throat> Especially if um, they're taking the MLTB. And literally, a lot of people are gonna take the MLTB. Like, <laughs> like recently, Eve was seen with the MLTB scanning off her hand, like, <laughs> and, and being all prideful about it too. And you know what? The Lord shall surely revenge thy prime, man. And he's gonna revenge it by sending those missiles. Now I'm in that, you're gonna catch Hal and Jake with trouble. You, you're gonna feel them plagues, man. And then on top of that, the Lord gonna finish you off with them nuclear missiles, man. Carrying <clears throat> on. It says, it says, Corson fits a strategic defeat on Russia, which possesses the largest arsenal of nuclear weapons, demonstrate the extreme recklessness of Western politicians. They either, they either do not understand the scale of the threat they are creating or are simply obsessed with their own sense of impunity and exceptionalism. Both can lead to tragedy. Yeah, and they're right, man. <laughs> but even then, <clears throat> that's how Esau is, man. And like it says, Russia possessed the largest nuclear arsenal. Like the Lord has said, man, by the mouth of Jeremiah. Jeremiah 15 and 25. It says, The Lord Yahweh Bashim Al have opened his armory and the armories where the weapons are kept and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation, being the weapons of his righteous anger. That's what indignation means. And it says, For this is the work of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Al Shav, host in the land of the Shaldeans. <clears throat> And the reason why America has been given the name of the land of the Chaldeans is because of the witchcraft and the sorcery and the enchantments, man. We already know about Hollywood and they like to be doing up the, 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 the local rituals and, and stuff. <clears throat> and then they have put children partaking it from literally young, man. From literally when they're toddlers, they're partaking in rituals, man. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the, the, these... These, these same children that are like 16 or 17 come to the forefront and all of a sudden they're a huge pop star 
or a huge rap star. <laughs> like literally, they've been groomed for that specific role, man. And Esau thinks he's clever doing this, man. Like, we, we can see through, through his lies, man. And, and some of their, their latest um, ones being Didi Asama and Little Mabu. And and that and Carson, that's little brother, man. He, he, they're, bringing, they're bringing him in now. And then on top of that, um, Central C as well, man. And Digger D, which they're from the UK. And they, they, they look at sellouts, man. And the Lord got something for all of them, man. For joining hand in hand with the wicked. And carrying on, it says the Russian ruler also sought to rewrite history, claiming his bid to storm Kyiv in February 2022 was not an attempt to storm the city. The actions were an operation to force Kyiv to peace and negotiations, which I, I, I rather believe um, Putin and what he's saying because he actually has some morals and integrity. Hence why when he, they were doing the, um, the broadcast, with, with, with um, Vladimir Putin. He was sitting in front of those Russian icons, man. Depicting the saints and the Lord Yahweh Shai and, and, and Mary Magdalene, man. The, 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 real, the real images, man. At least he has some integrity. Unlike these Babylonians, all these modern day Babylonians, all these modern day Egyptians being um, spiritual Egypt, being these Americans. <laughs> And it says, he said, in fact, his troops were forced by the strength of Ukraine's resistance. He claimed Zelensky's presidential term had expired along with his legitimacy, meaning executive, ex executive power in Ukraine was of, um, assert and held illegally. And uh, I ain't surprised, man. I bet the, the, the last president that was there or in, in the position of power, he didn't want to do what this elites wanted him to do. So the threw him Zelensky, man, to go ahead and um, literally continue the plans of the NWO, man. And even then, like, we, we saw the videos of Zelensky in heels, dancing, in, 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 in a skirt, looking all feminine and shit. <laughs> oh, man. And it says, um, however, due to martial law caused by Putin's own invasion, Zelensky illegitimately remains the president. And he vowed that areas he had conquered in Ukraine would remain forever in Russia. It says the residents of Kejan and Zaporizhia regions, same as um, Donetsk and Luhansk, joined the Russian Federation. And there cannot be any issue over violating our state integrity. So there goes that word integrity, man. And it says, speaking without um, a whore's voice, the day after suddenly cancelling a key meeting without a giving a reason, Putin claimed he was ready to sit down at the negotiation table on Ukraine even tomorrow. His condition for doing so was Kyiv to surrender a vast swathe of its territory and to vow never to join NATO, making it little more than a, a, a Russian satellite. Ukrainian troops must be withdrawn from the entire territory of the new Russian regimes. Not regimes. It says the new Russian regions. He said Kyiv must declare that there are no plans to join NATO. Which we know NATO is literally being run by America. Hence why in Revelation 17 talks about the scarlet coloured beast with the ten you know, with this with the seven heads and ten horns. And the seven heads being NATO, the ten horns being the European Union, and a woman that's sitting on it being the door of Babylon or the woman, or that city that reigneth over the kings of the earth, or that sitteth on a scarlet coloured beast, which is America, man. <laughs> and like it says, and it says, if this happens, Russia will immediately cease fire and declare its readiness for negotiations said Putin, in a bid to the disrupt peace, um, disrupt a peace conference in Switzerland at, at the weekend with which Russia is not attending, he called for a neutral non-aligned nuclear free Ukraine. This will turn the tragic page of history that led to the war 
and to restore relations with Ukraine and Europe. He said, the West must lift sanctions and any arrangement fixed by international treaties. <laughs> and look, <laughs> they got an ICBM on the show. They got a look at ICBM on the show. And they're going to be used, man. And it says this would include in international acceptance of his emasculating of the territory of Ukraine, the Crimea, and the regions of Donetsk and Luhansk and Zaporia and Kijan being and permanently in Russia. It was a concrete real peace proposal, he said. If Kyiv and the Western capitals also refuse it as before, then in the end it is their business and their political and moral responsibility to continue the bloodshed. <laughs> well, praises to you, how about some how a shy, man? If you're gonna get that third world on and pop it, man. <laughs> and like it makes mention in Luke 12, man, and 49. Let, let, let's see what the, let's see what the law said by the mouth of his prophet Luke. Luke 12 and 49, it says, I will come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it already be kindled? Yeah, being World War III, man. That fire gonna be kindled, man. The missiles are gonna be fired off. Planes are gonna be shooting each other down. And then in comes Yahweh Shai, man, with the host of angels. <laughs> and, and, all, and all the nations that are fighting going to literally come together to take down the Lord. We're going to take them down, man, with a, with a blast of concentrated fire, man. But let's carry on. It says, we are not talking about freezing the, the, the conflict, but about bringing into a definitive end as soon as Kyiv agrees to a complete withdrawal of its troops from Dantes, Luhansk and Zaporia and Kyrgyzstan regions and actually starts to process we are ready to begin negotiations without delay our principled position is the neutral, non-aligned, non-nuclear status of Ukraine its dematerialization and um, denazification and, and, and they've got um, uh, another ICBM we got another ICBM on show. Some big ass, some big ass missile, man. And it says the state of Crimea, or Slovakia, the status of Crimea. Um, um, Sevastopol, Donetsk, and Luhansk, and the Kyrgyzstan and Zaporia regions, as constitute and entities of the Russian Federation, must be internationally recognised. Naturally, this also implies. The cancellation of all Western sanctions against Russia. I believe that Russia is proposing an option that will make it possible to actually end the war in Ukraine. And that's that's all they ever wanted. But you know how these um Babylonian Edomites are? <laughs> they, they, they love blood, man. They love war. Hence why the Lord gave Esau that great sword, man, mentioned of in Revelation 6 and 4. And said, in other words, we call for the turning the strategic page of history and beginning to restore trust and good neighbor 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 neighborliness between russia and ukraine and in europe as a whole and it says gradually step by step in an address build as a dictator setting goals for his foreign policy going forward he vowed to connect russia to other parts of the world notably africa and latin america huh i like the scripture may mention man Ethiopia and Libya with them <laughs> and it says um a trend already underway oh yeah I can't, I, can't I, I, I almost forgot um with um Cuba basically um signing that 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 nuclear deal man sign that they signed that nuclear deal with, with Russia man that that almost literally started World War Three. <laughs> but obviously we know the Lord said, these prophecies aren't going to come to pass in the way that he has said, man. And that's going to happen, man. And carrying on. And it says, a trend already underway as he finds dictators more amendable to dealing with him than Western leaders. And then they've got another ICBM on show. <clears throat> And it says the world is changing rapidly, he said. It will no longer be the same in global politics 
And that's true, man. Soon that NWO are going to come out, man. That NWO are going to come out. And next thing you know, the whole entire earth has changed, man. And it says economics or technological competition. More and more states are striving to strengthen sovereignty, self-sufficiency, national and cultural identity. The countries of the global south and east are coming to the forefront. And the role of Africa and Latin America is growing. Putin 71 added. It is on the basis of the new political and economic reality that the contours <clears throat> that the contours of a multipolar and multilateral world order are being formed today and this is an objective process <clears throat> and yeah man like, like it also just made mention it says a world order wait, wait, wait what do you think that's talking about man i was talking about the nwo man come on man this is this is what they're trying to set up man right at the end of the day the lord ain't gonna allow them to perform that enterprise and let me get that real quick Yeah, Joe 5 and 12. <coughs> it says he disappointed the devices of the crafty being Esau Edom. Yeah, let me read that again. Man. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. So the Lord's going to interfere, man. He's going to intervene. <coughs> And let's get this. I think I'll close it on this. Joel 20 and 33, it says, when he is about to fill his belly, going into Esau Edom, and filling his belly is um, basically um, going into Esau preparing for that end of the omen. It says, the power, Yahweh, but Shema Shai, shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. And shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So, but while he's doing it, man, the Lord will have those missiles come forth and, and rain down upon Babylon or America or North America, man. For the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Hashem has spoken it. And I hope this was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, 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 Hashem,